Okay, so this is, um, you know, the next thing you're going to be doing here is if you go to your home, you should see you're currently working on math now that you've accepted, right? So um, I've been, this is an old account of mine, actually. I don't know how many years it's been, several now. But um, anyway, what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to see that you're currently working on this one, Algebra 1. You may also have, like, this is the world of math. That's just the general, all the skills of math. But here we have Math Mission Algebra 1. So you're just going to click Resume or Start on that. And what I really wanted to kind of point out to you for a second real quick here is I want you to see this Show All Skills. Okay, so I've, I'm sending you this link. I want you to get all of these to practiced. So let's talk about what practice means. If you were to do an exercise, so I'm gonna, you know, let's say I did an exercise here. Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's do this one. That one looks pretty darn simple. So actually, it looks like I just added it in, right? When I clicked on it, it added it in here for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and practice it. So now it says evaluate the following expression. So once I get five correct in a row, I'll be practiced. So I need to know the order of operations here. So that's five squared is 25. 25 times three is 75. Okay. And two, I got to square before I subtract, right? Because the order of operations is to do the exponents before we do addition or subtraction. So there we have four. So seven minus four is three. And here we have uh, a square first, so 64 plus 9 is 73. All right, so what are we going to do first here? Well, we're going to multiply, we're going to divide. All that was going to get done, you know, before we add. Adding happens last. So 3 times 4 is 12. So let's write that out. This is going to be 12. And then what do I have here? Well, this is multiply, divide, we do right left to right but actually commutative if it's all multiplying and dividing I can do that all together so I see this 30 divided by 6 is just 5 right 30 divided by 6 is 5 so 3 times 5 is 15 so now when I add 12 and 15 I get 27 so now I'm gonna go 9 plus 4 times 1 4 times 1 so 4 times 1 is 4, all right, so 9 plus 4 is 13, all right? Oh boy, I gotta stop doing that thing. Look at that, 13, there's a funny button on this little mouse here. So now notice what it did. I started here, it needs practiced, and as soon as I got five correct in a row, it moved me to practiced. So ideally, you know, you would want to get all the way to mastered, but for me, I'm just wanting you guys to at least get to practice. How do you get from practice to mastered? Well, you get to practice by doing five correct, or in some cases, three correct in a row. You move up to level one, level two, and mastered by taking mastery tests. Those mastery exams that come up will push you from practiced up. Of course, if you make a mistake, it'll drop you all the way back down to needs practiced. So, um, you know, this is good if you want to practice this. This is great stuff to do in the summer. It's also a sense of accomplishment. The idea behind um, moving from practice to here. See, I can practice again, but it's not going to move me up to level one. And that's because there's this timer here. Okay. And after this time is gone, so 16 hours when it's gone, right? Then if I take a mastery test, this can show up on my mastery test, but just one time. And if I get it right, boom, I'll get what they call leveled up or moved up, okay? So thing it wants me to keep doing, it wants me to keep doing these mastery challenges. And I don't want to do the mastery challenges. I want to work on these skills until they're all at least practiced. So that's what I would do. I would, I would have you come in, look at the skill breakdown, and then click on them here okay that's what I want you to do